when I first applied here, um, I came to two hiring events and um, I had to hound uh, Sarah, the uh, hiring manager, and ask them, you know, I know you're looking for people, so why aren't you hiring me? And uh, eventually uh, they had me come in, actually came in for two um, shadow uh, systems where they actually come in and have you sit down with the CSRs and listen to how they handle their phone calls and see if this is a fit for you, which I think was great because how many people think they know what the job is all about and then find out that it's not for them or doesn't work out. So you save yourself all that headache. And uh, when I first came in even for the shadowing, everybody is bubbly and happy and I said, okay, they put on a show for me, you know, new persons testing us out, whatever. So I start training and I was totally blown away. They do total immersion and, you know, big corporate companies do total immersion. I'm used to that totally blown away. They spent the whole day with me. It was my first day. I wasn't floundering around. They told me exactly what's expected of the company, what they expect of me. So everything was quite clear right from the beginning. And I thought, you know, that's impressive. That's impressive. From day one, they take care of you. And then they had me um, trained with somebody and they told me, they promised me that they will not put me behind the phone if I wasn't ready. So however long it took me, that's how long it was going to take for training. And uh, they also promised me that if I had any questions, they, they kept me with one person, sort of your mentor, and uh, said, you know, that'll be your go-to person. So you got consistent information from the same person. Um, Sarah, the uh, CSR manager, was very accessible to us. She sits right in with us. She doesn't sit in an office, hidden away. She's right there with us, taking the phone calls, doing the thing. So there's a lot of respect built in with that. And then, okay, so now I'm going through training, and they are still happy. And I'm like, okay, where's the Kool-Aid? <laughs> Where are the happy pills? Okay. <laughs> um, they have Gatorade and water in the fridge for the service experts out in, in, you know, in the field. Maybe it was in there. And what was that? Maybe, Maybe it was in there. <laughs> so almost a year later, they're still happy and bubbly, so you know what, this is for real. This is for real. And uh, you'll probably hear this from quite a few people. We spend most of our waking lives with people here at your job. And if you're not having a good time, and you're not having fun, and, you, and you're not enjoying your job, then you know what? It's not the place for you, but we have a great time. There's time for play. This, when you have to buckle down and get the job done, you get the job done. One of the things here they're really big on, you're never gonna be bored. All right. If it starts to slow down, there are certain times of year when things do slow down. People go on vacation, people go down the shore, in, in, it's New Jersey, right? So things slow down a bit. Well, guess what? That's when we make outbound calls. That's when we help out the outbound department. Vice versa, when it gets busy, the outbound department comes in and helps us. Tech line gets busy, we help the techs out, uh, the uh, dispatch out. So it's never a dull moment. The owners of this company don't have big offices, don't have window offices. They pull up a chair in any department on any given day, pull out their laptops, cell phones, and do their business. They're very accessible to us. And the managers are the same way. Yep, they have offices because they need to communicate with um, service, th their departments, understandable. They're never sitting in there. They're always with us. They're out in the open conducting business. Any given day, you see Joe Tanero with his laptop, sitting in the dispatch room, sitting with the CSRs, right amongst us, getting his work done. It makes you feel good. It really does. It makes you feel good about what you're doing because you see them conducting work. So they lead by example. And uh, I never found that in, in the big corporate companies. You know, you were very siloed. Um, they pitted you against each other in a negative sort of way. Here you have your, your plumbing, your HVAC. These guys are all cross-trained, so any given day, HVAC's helping out plumbing. If, if HVAC's in trouble, plumbing's helping out HVAC, or the install's helping out HVAC. It's just one of those things, and it's great for everybody because they all get that extra experience. Nobody goes home early. Everyone's busy all the time. And that's the other big difference, too. Like Corporate companies bring you in, give you all this money and all these toys to play with, and, and then leave you alone. And then you have to find your way around. Here, you see... They, they actually approach those who, you know, stand out, do the, go the extra mile. You never have to wait. They come up to you and say, hey, you know what, we love what you did, thank you, and guess what? And they take it. And, and I went from one step to the next to the next, um, which makes you want to keep continuing what you're doing. Uh, the motivation is there because they're very appreciative. Everybody, Sarah, every single time as our CSR manager, always, always thanked us 
when we did well, she made sure she thanked us. If there was something that needed to get done, we never got chastised. Nobody chastises you. You're, you're, you're called aside to be, to, if they discuss anything with you, it's always on a positive note. They, you're treated like an adult. A lot of places don't do that. And it's hard to come by. And people, look around, people are here 10, 12, 15 years. What is in the Kool-Aid? Where is the Kool-Aid? <laughs> I'm still looking for it. It's been a blast. I love it. Somebody asked me, you know, what do you think you want to do? I said, if they'll have me till I retire, I'm here.